Cool. Alright guys, so I'm back. It's been about an hour, maybe like 45 minutes to an hour. I came back. If young Metro don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you. Beautiful morning. Yeah, the sun in my morning, babe. Nothing in the water. And take Uno. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Good morning, everybody. My mom actually dug that out. Not dug it out. It was. Why do I always do that? Good morning, everybody. When me and my parents went to Hollywood a really, 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 really long time ago, my parents actually picked this up in Universal Studios. So this is really cool. I don't know. Mom wants me to take it back home, but I'm just like, I don't really need it. But guys, today is the day. Today is the day that I am going to be dying my dreads. And. I'm saying dreads, but I think I'm only going to be dying one, so it's not that big of a deal. It might be like a little test run to see how it looks, and then I might do all of them, I'm not sure, but I'm really, honestly, just want to do one. I might do one of my Congos, so that's going to be cool, but it is going down today for sure. Kind of excited, excited to see how it looks. It's going to be really interesting, that's for sure. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm going to be going to shoot photos later on the day, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go try and skate later, and then I'm going to try to start on these collabs that I'm going to be doing Grizzly DNS. Today's a super busy day. I need to get some stuff done for the channel, and I really just need to get stuff all together. I need to do some editing today. As you guys can tell, like I'm on holiday break, I'm on I'm on vacation, so to say, but I am still getting work done, I'm still grinding, I'm still doing my thing. See, that's one thing that I love to do, that I can work wherever I'm at, all I need is a computer and my camera. So let's get today started. Let me guess, you guys have never had a no-bake cookie. Well, these are too heat. So a no-bake cookie is like chocolate, peanut butter, and oats, and you don't even have to bake them, so that's a cool thing. Yummy! Dang, this is packed. All right, guys, like five oh, minutes right. until we commence the dying process. It's gonna be interesting. Let's see what mom thinks. I have something to show you. What do you think about this? <laughs> For my cabezas. It's extreme, shocking, and expressive. Alright guys, so I'm about to shoot this video for the Gunslog channel and, well, this is... So I changed my shirt so I don't mess up my black shirt. I really like that shirt. This one's like super big. I mean, like, what's dyeing your hair without wearing like a super duper large shirt, I guess. Yo, this is going to be something new, something definitely different. So I'm about to set this camera up and then get it popping for the Gunslog channel. It's going to be pretty interesting seeing how this works out. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Guns Locked. Yo, so today is the day. If you guys follow me on my vlogs, I do have a second channel. It is Gun to the Great. Go check it out. Link is always in the description. But if you guys are watching, then you must know. Today is the day that I'm going to be dying one of my dreadlocks. There's no way I'm going to be able to dye my whole head right now because I'll end up like messing up, wanting to cut my hair. That's just not a good idea. Why would I do that? That's not smart and it's not a very... It's not a good idea. Come on now. Today I got like the splat. It's called Fire Ombre. Rebellious colors. This is re this is rebellion, you know? We Come on. It comes with like a two splat hair color. Something splat lightning bleach, splat oxide, instructions, hair ties and gloves. Most importantly, we need hair ties and we need the gloves so I don't mess, gonna make a mess. This is gonna be interesting. As you guys seen on the vlogs, I haven't dyed my hair in over like five or six, not even that. I don't know, it's been a while, but we're gonna see how this works, how it goes, and how it turns out. Let's open the box. All right, so the first thing you got, you got like this mixing thing that comes with oxide. So it's flat oxide mixing container, pretty neat. Then it comes with the lightning bleach decolorant. This is decolor. Dang it. This decolorizes the hair, so I think you mix that with the oxide. Here's some instructions, and I think it comes with hair ties and gloves, so I definitely need the hair ties. Hopefully they're in here. Where do you do? So we got the hair ties right here. Hopefully these last, these look like ramen noodles times some zero. And there's the gloves. They make the gloves like attached to this paper. Why the heck would they do that? I don't know. Is there one glove? Two gloves? Why is there one glove? Was there two gloves in there? Or is the other glove? Oh, the other gloves is on the other side of the paper. Makes sense. Voila. Gloves are ready. So they got the instructions right here. They got this big old instruction manual. Alright. I don't speak this language. What is this? Profetise de la... Oh, here we go. Follow us. No. Wait, stop. Choose your style before you start. Decide what parts of your hair you want colored or bleached. Okay. Makes sense. Warning. Do not apply bleach to hair that has been previously processed. Process with metallic dye. Warning, do not apply if skin or scalp is broken or abraded. Abraded, not braided. Mix splat oxide bottles. Okay, so I mix. Let's just go ahead and do it step by step. Mix splat oxide bottle with splat lightning be ble beach. Turtles beach. So this is a lightning bleach. We're gonna mix it with the oxide. Splat oxide. And I'm assuming I mixed the whole thing. Makes sense, makes. Does this smell weird? Nope. It's the 
bleach you gotta watch out for. Don't let this get in like your nose or your eyeball or something dumb like that. Open that bad boy up. We just wanna funnel it in. Oh dang it. That's what you don't want to happen. That's all of that. Go ahead and throw it in the trash. Swish, I'm balling. I'm so awesome. So I put this on here and I believe I just shake it. I said replace nozzle with what? Oh, wait. Is this one open? No, that doesn't make sense. I'm confused. Does this come off? Ay, ay, ay. Is this one open? No, it's not. I think you gotta cut the top off. Worked. So we're supposed to mix this, hold the finger over the tip. I'm assuming I should be wearing gloves right now, but where are my gloves? Got that bad boy all mixed up. Put the gloves on. Maybe, before I put the gloves on, I'm gonna tie back my hair in parts that I don't want to be dyed. I'm only gonna be doing one dreadlock, which is this Congo, right up in this area over here. Where's it at? It's right here, yes. So, I need to separate this from the rest. We'll tie one of these back. Because some little ramen noodle hair ties ain't gonna work, I just know it. Oh, I see what's going on here. Innovation station. Okay, finally. Now I just need to dye this one right here. So it's just this one with the two Congos, or there's the one Congo. So I'm gonna be doing this one. Let's do it. Put the gloves on. I'm, sh I'm assuming I'm supposed to put these on already. Uh, Dr. Gunther in the place. Okay, instructions me. Wait one minute for bleach to thicken. So I guess the whole time I was doing all this, the bleach should be thick now. Full ombre bleach application. Keep bleach mixture one for Okay, apply a generous, um, dangerous amount. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Apply a dangerous amount of bleach mixture to your hair. Colors, 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 colors. Make sure every strand of your hair is completely and thoroughly saturated, covering hair with plastic cap or for an even lift. Warning, your scalp is burning. <laughs> it's immediately maybe having an allergic reaction. Okay, so I gotta keep this bleach on my hair for an hour. So I gotta bleach my hair, wash it, color it, and then do all that. Holy moly, the color time takes 60 minutes as well. So this is like a whole three hour process. I wasn't expecting this. Let's go ahead and start. What time is it? Okay, got 30 minutes, so I have to be somewhere. That makes sense. I might do two applications. Let me take my glasses off before something goes down. Maybe I should put it on my hand first. Oh, this stuff stinks. Feels like I'm cutting onions because of my eyeballs. I'm already almost out of all this like bleach stuff and like I've only been doing one dreadlock. This would be insane. I'll try and do the whole head. I don't know how people do it. They'd have to buy like 10 of these boxes. My hair's not even that long. So what I'm doing, I'm just trying to get it like fully saturated as they say. Like to have it completely saturated inside the hair so that like the hair inside of the dreadlock isn't going to get bleached as well. So that's the main goal right now, I guess. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get as close to my root as possible without actually getting the root. I do want to leave like a little space so that it doesn't hit my scalp or onto any other dreadlocks. So the main goal is just to stay away from other dreads right now. All right, what do the rules say? Okay, figured out what all needs to be done. I'm gonna take out these gloves, let them wash, and like get them, I don't know, maybe I should wash them with them on. So now that I'm washing, oh snap, I just can't let that touch any of my, oh dang, I almost got it in my eyeball. But <laughs> that's the one that's gonna be dyed. Next time you see it, it's gonna be blonde, and then we're gonna be doing the like little ombre thing, the little brother thing. I think that's what it means in Spanish, ombre. Even though it's not spelled the same, but it sounds the same, so it makes sense to me. Hands are washed. I guess I could have tied this off beforehand, but oh well. Now I just can't touch anything else. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm back and it's been about an hour, maybe like 45 minutes to an hour. I came back and the whatever the bleach, I think that was what it's called, like this blue stuff, just like straight up was oozing out of the top and it still is. Like look at this. So I didn't take proper precautions for that. I gotta figure it out. So now that that's all figured out. It says that I have to wash this out and then I have to put in the color right after. So I have to wash it, dry it, and then put the color in, do all that, and then it should come out the way it's supposed to look. I'm gonna see how it looks after I wash this out and then go from there. Cause I'm pretty sure it'll look kind of cool actually. Looks like it's the same color as my tips. We'll see how this goes. All right guys, everything in the shower is complete. Now I just gotta do the drying process, which is gonna, I feel like, take a while because it takes my hair a while to dry up. So I'm gonna use a hair dryer and then just like blow dry how you're supposed to dry headlocks. Headlocks, <laughs> dreadlocks. Freeze. All right guys, super weird. My hair is completely dry, but just seeing this is really different for me. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the color in it right now. My hair is dry. And then see how it looks afterwards. I'm gonna just show you guys the finished project, project, product. Is it a project? I think it's a project. Yeah, we're gonna show you the finished project when it's finished, so. <laughs> and then we'll carry on the rest. What's good, y'all? This is like the ugliest process of dyeing hair. Not sure how it's gonna turn out, Um, but I am just like, I'm never dyeing my hair again by myself. I made that decision today. I think I'm gonna shoot the rest of the Guns Like video in the morning 
lighting so I have some natural light coming in through the window. This has taken super duper long. I didn't expect it to be this long, but I really want to wash this out so I can just chill regularly and just hang out with family for the rest of the day. And we do have a push day tonight in the gym. Hopefully I'm motivated at the time that challenge is going to be going so that I can go as well, honestly. Today has been like a really chill, relaxed day. Did a little bit of stuff, not too much stuff, but I'm excited for tomorrow because I'm going to be finishing up this video and then it's just going to be a brand new day. I haven't had any word back for the uh, the challenge videos yet, but we will be doing those soon. Yo guys, the whole dying process is complete, but like I was laying down just chilling in the living room, watching some John Hill, watching some YouTube, and just like watching TV in general, and I was just sitting there like, I'm so, look at Leah. What's up girl? Come on. Not but I was literally just sitting there just like oh my goodness I'm so bored I miss I don't know like I felt like I was missing Phoenix for a little bit felt like I was missing like the whole vibe over there I thought I was missing everything and I was just like what is wrong like I don't know I feel weird and I was just like laying there I was like not motivated and that's kind of why there was like a little gap right here and I was just like what do I have to do and then I was just like oh, I don't know I have to do something Leah's kind of making the process a little better well, we got some Chinese food coming on the way, so that's pretty cool. So we're gonna eat here in a little bit, and then, I don't know, we'll just see what happens after that. How's that, bro? That is even a wild dog. What do you eat? Leah. You're worth this, bro. Please excuse my sweats, by the way. They're not mine, they're my dad's. Come on. Come on. Oh. It is the next day. So I decided to add this guns lock video just onto my main channel. I got crazy busy and slept in and woke up at 12, went to sleep really late last night. Didn't film that. I won't let it happen again, trust me. So this video is gonna be on here. I mean, but don't worry guys, I wasn't like slacking or, or anything like that, so. But I just want to carry the video onto this channel. So I want to show you guys a finished product of how my hair looks since I haven't showed you guys yet besides like the dyeing process. So this is what my hair is looking like after the whole... I, I cut that dreadlock out. I cut it off. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just playing. It's somewhere in here. I just can't. Oh, there it goes. What do you guys think? It went. It goes from like a red to a... It's, like a, it's supposed to be like a flame look. A flame on! I don't know if you guys can see it if I throw my hair back like this, so it like kind of blends. Is it in there? Can you guys see that? Is it in there? I think it should be in there, right? Easy camera, don't do a backflip. Okay. Oh yeah, you can see it in there. I don't know if you guys can see it in there, but I can kind of see it in there. Okay, I can see it. Finished product comes out pretty clean at first. I was just like, just like, you know what? Why? But then I was just like, you know what? Who cares? Sometimes you're going to do some things that you're just like, man. But then you got to be like, man. I have no clue where I was going with that, but it's kind of true, you know, sometimes you do something with your hair, you do something with your body, like you might get a tattoo and you might not like it, I don't know. And you just gotta live with it. It's not like I hate this, but it's just like, I, would, I wouldn't I mind just like having all of my hair the same color, but this, see how it goes from like black to hot Cheeto real quick. <laughs> but I'm still, I'm cool with it, I don't mind. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a clickbait thumbnail. <laughs> so you do something like this. You gotta have like that surprised face. Trust me, everyone clicks on a video like this. And then, <laughs> oh, that's goofy. I feel like he's a nice guy with this lens because he always does this. He'll say, look, so the company, Oh man, it's not a diss track. I love Casey Neistat's videos. I love his new stuff. I like what he's doing. He's, he is what you got. I don't know. He's someone that you could look up to for sure. But guys, this is the end of the video. I'm gonna do an Instagram of the day because I've been slacking on my part, but let's just act like I wasn't slacking because I honestly really wasn't. I just kind of like slept in, stayed up late, didn't do it. You guys can call it what you want, but all right. My phone is right here, so my phone is somewhere back. Found it. So today's Instagram, Instagram of the day is Wasting by. Let's do this. Dude has a dope feed, he has like a nice little layout. So you guys can go show him some love. Go comment on his photo, photos, photo, I don't know. And then tell him where you came from. Say, hey, I'm from Gunther the Great channel. He featured you on there, you, bro. So uh, go do that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you guys have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless. Beautiful morning, get it some